Hi guys! Welcome to the Reading Corner. We're going to read a story today. I like this book. Look at this girl's hair. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, my hair looks a little bit like that. Yes, this week we're going to be talking a lot about ourselves. Okay, I want to know more about you and I'm going to share a few things about me along the way. So, this story is called I Like Myself. And it's written by Karen Beaumont. That means she wrote the words. And it's illustrated by David Catrow. That means he drew the pictures. He's the illustrator, an artist. Cool. I Like Myself. Let's see. Uh-oh, here's the title page again. I know because it's saying the same thing. I like myself. Saying the name of the book again. Great. I think you'll really like this story. I can relate to this girl quite a bit. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. Look at her. <laughs> I love her dog. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, my nose. I like my fingers and my toes. I think she's pretty happy with herself. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different and the same. <laughs> look at this lion. He's scared of her. He's so big and look how little she is. Alright. I like me fast. I like me slow. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too. For all I think and say and do. Look at her insides. Oh my goodness. Do you see her insides? She's got an x-ray there, right? She likes all the things that's on the inside of her as well, not just what's on the outside. That's important. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all. It all is me, and me is all I want to be. This girl has got it going on. She's so smart. She knows the only person she can really be is herself. That's good. And I don't care in any way what someone else might think or say. That's important too. I may be called a silly mutt or a crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Looky there. She's not worried about what other people think of her. She's doing her own thing. Even when I look a mess, I still don't like me any less. Because nothing in this world, you know, can change what's deep inside. And so, look at her hair. I have those mornings. Look at it. She doesn't care. No matter if they stop and stare, no person ever anywhere can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. So it doesn't matter what other people say about us. We have to let those things go. They're not us, so they don't know. Ah, I made my own rhyme. I may have to write that down. I still like me with fleas or warts 
or with a silly snort that snorts. Look at her silly snort. I love it. Look. Can you see it? Oh, what a silly snort she's got. Or knobby knees, or hippo hips, or purple polka dotted lips. Oh my goodness. How crazy is that? But I love it. I think it's great. Or beaver breath, or stinky toes, or horns protruding from my nose. Look at that humongous horn. Yeah. Or yikes, with spikes all down my spine, or hair that's like a porcupine, I still would be the same, you see. I like myself because I'm me. Isn't that great? She likes herself because she's herself. She's not anyone else. And that's a great thing to be. And I hope you are happy being you. I'm glad you're with me. And you're a cool kid. Just because you're you.